Okay, so Ian Blickers has to come out of retirement um, to do some more commentary. Um, so we're here in Sydney, so we got a lockdown. It's, I think, a, the first COVID lockdown was like 18 months ago, maybe, guessing. And we still got lockdowns after it was uh, two weeks to flatten the curve. Um, yeah, so it's COVID has been really interesting. I mean, it's even taught me a lot about um, how humans work. Um, so it's becoming more and more apparent that humans uh, function on belief systems. And, and whoever is more willing to um, die for their belief system or is, has the most... Um, Intent in their belief system uh, will eventually win. It's not. It's not really. About, it's not about which belief system is closer to the truth, uh, because it's it's unlikely that you can ever reach fractal truth. Um, yeah. So what we've seen in this uh, COVID uh, situation is the. So there's there's a few stages of people. There's like, sort of say stage one, there's no judgments here. Uh, I mean, it, I'm just uh, giving descriptions and uh, just, if you're a stage one, stage two, whatever, don't, th don't think I'm having a go at you. You're just, just stupid in a particular way. Well, I'm, I may be stupid in another way, you know? So it's, it's, it's not, uh... yeah. Okay. So, so we have the stage ones, the, the ones that still think the government is their friend. The, they don't, they don't see predator. Um, they think science is real, or the, so science is true. Um, the science that they've been told is true. Um, I mean, this is this is a very comfortable way to live, and I can understand why people would would be in that stage because it's it's just easier. You, you know, you don't you know you don't see predator at all. You're just like yeah, everything's great, everything's fine. Jab, jab, mercury, you know, whatever you want. <laughs> you know, no stress, no fuss. Um, so they're stage one. Stage two, um, they're the victimologists. The, they see predator. They understand um, that it's, uh, that the system is not their friend. Um, but, but they have a victim mentality where, they want to blame everything on something else. And uh, so to get from stage one, stage two, um, it's, it's more calories. That's why, that's why people, you know, I'd rather just, just assume everything's great. Uh, the stage two is, is consuming calories because now he's got to worry about drink. The drinking water's got fluoride. And he's got to worry about this or that, the, you know, the 50 year lockdown. You know the government's trying to kill me, so so they're in stage two. Uh, the problem with the stage two is is they they have a victim mentality where they think something's being done to them. Uh, this is not the case. Um, or there are no victims in this world. It's it's everything. I mean, if you want an extreme example of a victim, like a say child abuse victim or something like that. But that again, that was you could say that's. Uh, is some responsibility of his parents did something wrong there. So, so whenever you see victimology, uh, that's a type of childishness. Um, uh, and they they want to blame something else. So they're like, Oh, Bill Gates, uh, the elite, uh, Illuminati, oh, da, 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 da. I mean, who's, Who's jabbing the kids with the with the mercury? Is it the Illuminati or is it their parents? You know, <laughs> tell me. <laughs> it's, uh, I don't see any Illuminati doing this stuff. It's just normal people, and I'm not, I'm not saying normal people are bad. It's just it's just that that the level they're on. So so yeah, the stage two is the victimology. Um, the stage three, the there's, they're, they're probably the people like. Who, who either accept the system. So I'm, I'm, I'm pretty much in this category. I don't, I don't view anything as bad. It's all working perfectly. The system is designed to wake you up. It's designed to like slap you around the head and wake you up. It's actually, 
it's actually the most humane system possible because it's slowly slowly jabbing you to wake up slow slow if it was inhumane or evil they just they'd just take you out and kill you straight away so i'm i'm very dubious that these elite illuminati are bad people because they're doing it in the slowest most humane way possible um so so the stages are yeah, so 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 on me. I, I I view everything's working perfectly, but I'm too accom I'm too accustomed to Babylon now to to just leave it because I, I I don't know how to grow my own food. I don't want to bother with that. I don't want to live on the farm <laughs> stuff. That so I've I, I, I so I've made my contract with Babylon, and I I don't view Babylon as bad. It's it's a waking up mechanism because if Babylon wasn't there, the people would just just urinate on themselves. They wouldn't be challenged in you know or people think the government is doing something to them no what's happening people choose to be ruled nobody people say they want sovereignty but if they were given sovereignty they would shit themselves in 10 seconds so people choose to be ruled and then complain about it because that's easier yeah so so yeah that's the situation um, I, I don't view, I don't view the, the really elite, maybe like in the middle stages, they're bad, but the top elite, I, I'm, I'm starting to change my mind. I think they're good people. Um, so the thing that really surprised me was, uh, during COVID, how all the countries went into lockdown. Like, so it, it became very apparent that the countries are not countries. The countries were just pretending to be enemies. Like you had, you had lockdowns in mosques and synagogues and, and churches all at the same time. So, so this charade that that countries are enemies, they're, they're actually more like uh, family quarrels because it appears they're all getting their checks from the same place because they all they all march in unison when they're ordered to by the. Um, the whoever's given them their loans which i think is the, the imf who which is also the world health cool so if you have any questions for ian blickers remember ian blickers is iq is 194 so if you don't understand me just just do, do it again do it again and again you probably need 10 uh revisits before you understand cool